Good morning. Lesson 2.1 is place the first digit. So the essential question today is how can you tell where to place the first digit of a quotient without dividing? So we're going to unlock the problem. Tanya has eight purple daisies. In all, she counts 128 petals on her flowers. If each flower has the same number of petals, how many petals are on one flower? So it asks us to underline the sentence that tells you what you're trying to find. So what we're trying to find is, if each flower has the same number of petals, how many petals are on one flower? So then it asks us over here, circle the numbers that you need. Well, we need to know that there's eight purple daisies and that she counts 128 petals on her flower. The last one asks, how will you use these numbers to solve your problem? Well, if I have 128 petals and I have eight purple daisies, I'm going to need to divide them. So I'm going to divide 128 by 8. So if I'm dividing 128 by 8, I'm going to use an estimate to place the first digit in the quotient. So I can kind of estimate 160 divided by 8 is going to be 20. It's going to be 20. There we go. The first digit of the quotient will be in the tens place. Okay, because I have 20, it's going to be in the tens place. So if I'm dividing the, ten, the tens, I have 8, or divide 12 tens by 8. So that means I'm going to multiply 8 by 110. So 8 by 110 is 8. And then I have 12 minus 8, and 12 minus 8 is 4. Okay, so I have, if I'm subtracting, I have 12 tens, which is minus eight tens, okay? And then if I'm gonna check that, then I have four tens that cannot be shared amongst the eight tens without regrouping. So I'm gonna have four left over. Okay, so I already set up above that I have 12 minus eight, which is four. Now I'm gonna bring down my eight. So now I have 48 ones divided by eight. So I'm gonna multiply eight times six because eight times six is 48. I put my six up above here. Now I'm subtracting 48 ones from 48 ones, and I'm going to get zero ones that cannot be regrouped. Since 16 is close to the estimate of 20, the answer is reasonable. So there are 16 petals on one flower. Okay, let's do another example. Divide. Use place value to place the first digit of 4,236 divided by 5. Step 1. Use the place value to place the first digit. So they want us to remember. Remember to estimate the quotient first. So 4,236 is kind of like 4,000. And 4,000 divided by 5 is pretty easy because I can take, I can take five, 5 times 8 is 40. And if that's 40, I have two more zeros. So that's 800. Okay, so if you're using your base 10 like we did in the lessons a few lessons ago. So looking over here, I have 4,236 divided by 5. So first I'm going to look at the thousands. Four thousands cannot be shared amongst, among five groups without regrouping. So I'm going to look at the hundreds. There are 42... So 42 hundreds that can be shared amongst five groups. So the first digit is going to be in my hundreds place. So first I'm going to divide the hundreds. Five times eight is 40. So I'm going to divide 42 hundreds by five. So that means I'm going to multiply five times eight hundreds. And then I'm going to subtract 42 hundreds from 40 hundreds. And I'm going to get two hundreds left that cannot be shared amongst the group. Okay, step three. Now I'm going to divide the tens. So I'm going to divide 23 tens divided by five because I have 23 tens right here. I have my two and I brought down my three. So now I have 23 tens divided by five. So if I multiply 
5 times 4 tens. I put my 4 here and I've got 5 times 4. I'm going to get 20, right? So then I'm going to subtract 23 tens, okay, from 20 tens, and I'm going to get 3. So 3 tens, that cannot be. It can't be shared among five without regrouping. Okay, so step four, I'm now I'm gonna divide the ones. So now I have the three and I'm gonna bring down the six. So now I have, so now I have 36 ones. Okay, so I'm gonna be dividing 36 ones. Okay. Ones divided by five. And I know that 5 times 7 ones, so 5 ones times 7 ones is going to be 35. So I've got my 35 that I'm writing right here. And I've got my 7 going up there. And then I'm going to subtract 36 ones. So there's my 36 ones. Subtract 35 ones. Okay, and I'm going to get 1 1 left over because I've got 1 1 that cannot be, or that can't be shared among five groups, okay? So my answer is 847 with a remainder of one. So I've got 847 and my one remainder. Okay, so three goes into five one time, or 500. Um, and three times one is three. I'm gonna subtract, I get two left over. Now I'm gonna bring down my seven. Three goes into 27, nine times, and nine times seven is 27. I'm gonna subtract, I get zero. Still have this nine, I have to bring it down. Three goes into nine three times. I'm gonna subtract, and I get zero. So the answer is 193. On the next one, five cannot just cannot go into the 1,035 evenly, but it, 5 can go into 10. 5 times 10 is 2, and 5 times 10, or 5 times 2 is 10. I subtract, I get nothing, because 10 minus 10 is nothing. I bring down my 3. 5 cannot go into that 3, so I'm going to put a 0 up here. Um, now I'm going to bring down the 5. 5 can go into 35. 7 times, 7 times 5 is 35 with nothing left over, so the answer is 207. We can get the next one. Eight can't go into one, but eight can go into 17. Goes in two times, two times eight is 16. I subtract seven minus, or six minus seven is one. I bring down my six. Now I have eight going into 16. It goes in again two times, two times eight is 16. I've got nothing left over, but I still have a six. So I bring down my six. Um, eight can't go in a six, so I'm going to put a zero, okay? Um, so the answer is 220 with a remainder of six. Okay, it's your turn to do the on-your-own problems. Again, I'm going to be on the floor if you need any assistance, and you can also work with a partner.